And we're here at the Texas Pro. Oh shit. Let me start over again. I get like this sometimes a lot. How you guys doing? This is Hector Mendoza for Muscular Development Magazine. Here with the overall winner of the Classic Physique. How you doing? How you feeling? I feel good. I feel really good. I mean, this right here, yep. this we came for, yep. Got it. and just came in and walked out with it. I mean, the, I mean, the thing is, Classic Physique is different. You know, we have great, great competitors. Um, a lot of a lot of heavy hitters were in this class. Yes, it was. Um, um, Logan Franklin, amazing physique, beautiful physique, amazing poses. It was like neck and neck. With it you was. Um, Steve Laurie is another one, another big name. Um, and I knew coming in, it was going to be one of those ones that it was going to be an uphill battle for me. You know, I've been out for three years. I haven't competed in three years. Um, but I took the time off and made improvements. And that was my thing. I knew that I had to make some improvements before I could step back on the stage with these guys. What were the improvements you were, that you knew you had to do? So when I stepped on the stage last time in 2018, it was at the Olympia. I was too small. I was 218 pounds on stage. 219 pounds. What's your cap weight at? 235 at the time. Whoa. Today I stepped on stage at 238. So I definitely made some improvements, put size on, quality size. And, and sometimes you got to do that. You got to slow down to speed up. Right. Um, I realized that and it was it was for me it was okay to step off stage for a bit um, and and take the time to make the improvements and then come back better instead of trying to rush it um, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a it's not a, 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 a sprint it's a marathon so I and, I and I understand that I have good people in my corner AJ Sims my coach a1 um, and I only listen to two people and that's him and my father um, those are the only two people I really take criticism from and feedback from. Um, they have an eye of understanding that I don't need to be praised all the time. I need to be told the truth. Um, so I love my fans. I love everybody who you know loves me. But at the end of the day, when they love you, they're kind of biased towards you. Um, but we're my my group, my circle is real small. My father and my coach, and um, we're realists. And we, we, we get to work on what needs to be done. They told me to bring my legs up. I brought my legs up. And we, we came back and we, it, we it, it showed. Now, during this off time, did you feel like, I want to get on stage? I want to get on? No. For me, bodybuilding is a hobby. It's fun. Right. Um, I'm still in the Air Force. Um, I'm in the reserves now. Okay. I'm a tech guy. So that's my part time. And then my full time, I work at Intel. So I design chips. So for me, it's, this is one of my lifestyle type things. This is a lifestyle. So I knew it's just a process, a part of the process of my life. Gotcha. This isn't like, oh, I'm, I'm yeah, no, this is not my full-time thing, right. you know? So this is more so a fun hobby for me. I go every day. I don't take a day off. I train every single day. Um, I know my lagging body parts. I train those harder. I brought, and I bring it up. And, I, and for me, this is just a love thing. It's more of a love thing than, than a, oh, I have to go to the gym. No, I just love going to the gym. I love training. Okay. And between now and the Olympia, uh -huh. what do you feel you're going to do between now and then? Besides eat. <laughs> you know, you well, okay. So for me, it's, it's, it's just being consistent, right? You know, consistently making improvements, right? right? You look at yourself. I'm going to go back over the tapes. We'll go back over the tapes. Yeah, we won the show, but did I win for me? So now I go back over the tapes. I see what I like and what I don't like. That makes sense. I see what poses I like and I don't like. And I'll change those up. Gotcha. And then we'll make it look perfect or as close to perfect as we can because the guys at the Olympia are different. Right. That's a whole different breed of animal. Right. Right? You have a Breon Ansley. You have a Chris Bumstead who's ridiculous. So these guys have perfected their body and know what poses to hit. Everybody's not meant to hit a vacuum. Right. If you notice in the show, I hit no vacuums. It's not just because a person hits it doesn't mean it's a part of classic. Right. Because it doesn't look classic on everybody. And so that's true. So that's the thing. You have to understand what poses work for you and what poses don't work for you. Gotcha. And I have understood that. Ah, gotcha. Well, they appreciate your time. Thank you. I know you got to get going. Yes, sir. You got a family dinner to get oh, to. Yeah. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll see you at the Olympia. Thank you. This has been Hector Mendoza.
uh, here at the Texas Pro. Um, the uh, coverage is brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals, and we'll see you after. Um, so we got men's physique going on right now, and we have women. Uh, we have bikini, and we'll see what what, what we can pull up after this. Stay tuned.